Happy New Year. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. If you think today's video is going to be all about setting goals for the new year, trust me, it's not. I think we have enough of that going around right now. Instead, I want to talk with you about habits, specifically junk food habits. So, when you eat foods like french fries, chips, and cookies, your brain remembers how these foods made you feel. And it triggers cravings for these foods when it wants to feel good again. Our bodies respond to foods that hit the bliss point by triggering reward pathways in our brain and encouraging dopamine signaling. This is essentially how we create a habit of eating junk food. Hi, my name is Jennifer Dunn. My goal is to help you get to the root of your health issues so you can heal and have optimal health. If this sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video. Now, let's get into today's topic. If you, like many others, crave some type of junk food or processed food, on a regular basis, chances are you have low leptin levels. Leptin is a hormone made by our fat cells and it tells your brain whether you have enough stored energy to do the things you need to do. So let's talk about what causes our leptin to get too low and get into some solutions to help restore it again. The number one reason people develop leptin resistance is from eating a high carb diet. Initially, this kind of diet causes leptin levels to raise, but the longer you eat this way, you start to develop leptin resistance, which is similar to insulin resistance. When your leptin continues to stay low, your brain stops receiving full signals and this causes you to feel hungry and have cravings all day. To fix this, start slowly decreasing the amount of carbs you are eating. Start by replacing one high carb meal with a high protein, low carb meal. Once you get comfortable with this, replace another meal. If you stay consistent with this, you will start feeling better and have less cravings. Another cause of low leptin levels and cravings is lack of good sleep. Sleep deprivation is associated with increased hunger and cravings. This is because not getting enough sleep changes our hormones. It causes ghrelin and cortisol to increase, which makes you feel hungrier, and it decreases leptin, which can make you feel like you never get full. Allow yourself enough time to get the right amount of sleep that you need to function. That may mean going to bed earlier than you normally do. And if you are having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, you may need to look at your sleep environment. Is your room cool and dark? Are you staying too stimulated at night from the blue light from your TV, computer, or phone? Or is your sleep being interrupted by a pet, a child, or snoring? Get to the root of why you aren't getting enough sleep and take action to find solutions so you can start sleeping better. Another reason our leptin hormone drops and we start having cravings is from unmanaged stress. Ongoing stress or stress that is not dealt with in a healthy way can cause leptin levels to decrease and it can increase cortisol levels. This of hormone dysregulation causes many people to crave sugary and fatty foods. If you feel stress is the main reason you have cravings, the first thing you should look at is what is causing your stress. If you can get to the root cause of your stress, then you can start to create new habits to help you deal with it. And I know it's not always realistic to eliminate all stress from our lives, so if this is the case, then finding ways to manage your stress can be helpful as well. Some of my favorite ways to manage stress are meditation, deep breathing, walking in nature, and listening to calming music. So guys, if you struggle with junk food cravings, it's not about having enough willpower. 
As you can see, it's literally about balancing your hormones through adopting healthier lifestyle habits. And if you feel like you have tried everything and you still can't seem to overcome your cravings and habits, I have created a self-paced course called Cravings to Confidence. This four-step course will take you through the process I use to overcome my own sugar cravings. And it is what I use to help my one-on-one -on -one clients overcome their cravings and habits as well. These four steps will help you finally feel in control instead of cravings controlling you. If you are interested in learning more about this course, I will leave a link to it in the description box. And let me know in the comments what tip was most helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Monday with a new video.